Hi guys, so I've been saying for a while that Brexiteers are not interested in providing solutions to British industry. Their entire thinking is fix the problem yourself, find a workaround. Well, some sectors are able to adapt quickly to the obstacles of Brexit, but others will find it a long, hard graft. Farming being, of course, a perfect example. Now, if British farmers are unable to find the workers they need, they will be likely forced to change their entire way of life. It will mean shifting away from certain types of food or selling up completely. Here Sky News spoke to one producer about the problems Brexit is causing him. Finding people now is becoming increasingly difficult. At the beginning of May, we were 40% short of the people we should have here. They were all recruited, they just hadn't got the visas processed. We lost three quarters of a million bunches of spring onions with a value of about 100,000. So overall, shortage of labour cost us a quarter of a million pounds in May. And it's not just onions. This is what asparagus looks like when you stop picking it. In May, they had to flatten the spears to buy time as they waited for workers. And when they did arrive, they weren't enough. They should have been harvesting this asparagus until the third week of June, but the labour shortage meant they couldn't keep up with growth and they had to stop at the start of May, letting these plants grow to fern and leaving 45,000 kilos of asparagus worth £150,000 in the ground. In the ground. And you know what's going to happen to this asparagus? It will eventually wither and die. It will be gathered up and it will be burnt or dumped somewhere, turned into compost. Thousands of tons of food all over Great Britain is going in the bin, basically, during a cost of living crisis. Why? Because of Brexit, because the Tories had to keep the racists happy, the racists and bigots happy. They had, to de they had to end freedom of movement. They had to leave the single market in order to keep the racists and bigots happy, to keep the foreigners out, because people didn't want to go down to the local supermarket and hear a foreign accent, or they didn't want to hear about, uh, they didn't want a, p a Polish plumber or Ukrainian builder uh, working near them. And they got it. And this is the consequence. During the middle of a bloody cost of living crisis, tons of food is going to waste. Now, the consequence of this is, well, from Brexiteers, they will say, well, you just need to work around this problem, find a way around it, R rely more on technology. Yes, technology that doesn't exist yet or is extremely expensive. And another problem here as well, because they can't get the workers they need, they have to pay the workers they have more. Now, you may say, well, that's a good idea. That's great for the workers. Yes, but those costs have to be passed on, which means during the cost of living crisis, food will become more expensive. It's frustrating because none of this had to happen. And what's frustrating also is now the Labour Party are getting behind Brexit, it seems. I understand the political motivations, but it is frustrating to listen to the, the Labour leader talking about how they're going to fix Brexit. Fix this. How are you going to fix this? This is an absolute disaster that the only way you can fix this is rejoining the single market and the customs union and eventually rejoining the European Union. But that doesn't seem to be on the cards at the moment. The two main parties are against the idea, it seems. So you're going to see uh, farmers struggling and eventually the farmer who's producing this asparagus or the one who was producing the other crop before that, um, spring onions, is just going to stop doing that and change. Maybe plant trees or sell the land completely to um, some agricultural corporation that will plant something else and doesn't have to worry too much about access to workers. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.